the AJGA players are at the end of the waves. All right, two points for a par, three points for a birdie, five for an eagle. Professional debut of Rose Zhang. Morgan, a couple of early birdies, and then this third at the sixth. Off to a great start, a day that I think we've been waiting for for a long time. Monday qualifier, Sarah Jane Smith, her ninth hole of the day, the 18th. She's got this club rolling today, only needing 12 putts here on this front nine. Shot 68 to get in. Now you got 120 LPGA players. She'd roll that in to go to three with another collegiate superstar and former number one player in the world, Allison Lee at the seventh. A tough hole here, the seventh, long par four. We're back at the 14th, and here is Madeline Sackstrom. This there, is just... there a better view in, on the LPGA than this one, Morgan? It is so spectacular. Uh, you cross the walk path, the public walk path to get across to this 14th hole. Here she is, Rose Zhang. Morgan, her third at the tough ninth. Grant, that was just her second green that she's missed today, and that was not a good position to miss. Very tough up and down from there. Probably not her most uh, aggressive effort there, but tough when you get above these hole locations. Par is going to be a good score at nine. First bogey is a pro. Yeah, she said in her press conference about expectations. I'm human. Okay, so she shows it there on a really tough hole. Back to two under. I expect to see a lot of birdies here on the 10th hole today. And a player who has had a long relationship with Liberty National, Christy Kerr, the 11. I've had the opportunity myself to play here many times at Liberty National. Christy Kerr hosting her charity event here for many years. Patty Tavitanikit and Jin Young Ko. To 12, Amy Yang. This is Aditya Shook. All right, so a DT saves her par. And a nice season for a DT. Something good to, to get some good momentum going in her rounds. We've talked about the resurgence of Patty Tavitanigat this year after a a, a, a struggle is not even the right way to say it. At the 15th, this is Lauren Coughlin. Steady pause so far today. Oh, we had a great look there at that putt from behind. That was exactly where she was lined up. Hit it right where she wanted to. It just didn't fall to the right. So 10 pars to start round one for Jin Young, who got her second win of the season. The President's Cup was here, but the women getting their chance. Here is Danielle Kang, her third at the 10th. And serious amounts of undulation for her to negotiate with this one. Green speeds are rolling just a smidge over 12. Of course, in superb condition. Another birdie for Danielle. But nobody's really taking it super deep, at least not yet. There's still some time. Jennifer Chang, USC alum from North Carolina. Over to the 14th in Sunghyun Park, former number one in the world who won a major championship not too far away here in New Jersey. Is that the opposite of walking it in? It's kind of walking it back almost. I think she'd like to walk back. You really have to have a little bit of patience about you as well. And I think 
Uh, she is particularly good in that department as well. This is a six arm from her. 185 yards this whole plane today, downwind. I thought it was funny, Karen, in her press conference, she was asked if anybody texted her, if her phone blew up when she got back to number one. She said, no, nobody texted me. She's within three of Lorena Ochoa's all-time record most weeks at number one. Here's the third for Rose at 10. That's a little sand wedge from 76 yards, and well, got that to zip backwards, Morgan, even though the green slopes towards the back of the green. Try to err on the high side and give this a legitimate chance. Yeah, it kind of stopped breaking at the end. That was a smart putt. You can see the respect. Patty T was getting into some of those events early in the year that didn't have a cut. It allowed her, she talked about being able to play four full rounds and try to get the swing that she's changed in the last several months. Just like that. Wow. So up and down for birdie at 10, up and down for par at 11. Georgia Hall is in the top 10. Here she is at 12. Golf course playing 6,600 yards today, Morgan. Jin Young comebacker for par. Okay. It's a player who went 114 holes without a bogey. Right middle of the green here would be ideal. Right about there, Kay. That's pretty perfect, especially when she didn't look like she was happy with it at the finish. Back at the 12th, the birdie putt for Georgia Hall. Putting pretty severely uphill here. Great start to the season for Georgia, runner-up. And she rarely makes big mistakes. Okay, that's the intangible. That's what you can't see is the way that she thinks her way around the golf course and how smart of a golfer she is, always seemingly putting it in the right position. Anxiety and stress on the golf course, which she has conquered. Uh, she's been very open, not alone. It's something that most professionals playing at the top level will experience some something in their career like that. Even Jin Young Ko last year, who seemed to be. Let's check back in with Christy Kerr. This is at the 13th. Chance to pick up a couple. This was a moment ago. Okay. It is one of the shortest, shorter holes on this golf course, one that you would look at to be a birdie opportunity, Karen, but it's playing over par currently. I think it's this hole location. Ooh. I think it's this hole location. Oh, that was a vicious lip out. Carried a bit too much pace there. The elegant swing and putting stroke of Amy Yang. It hasn't been her best couple of years of late. On 12. This is Nasa Hataoka, third at 13. Yardage to have to try to hit it in tight. Pretty much the same tempo with all of her clubs, Morgan. Bittersweet moments with her team for the last time, turning in an essay, having to do an online quiz, announcing her turning professional, then getting on a plane on Saturday to fly out here. So, boy, if she can survive this week um, with some kind of success, I think it will be a big hurdle, a big positive hurdle for her. She was a six-time HAGA All-American.
Oh, pushed that. She had a good chip shot up there and couldn't convert. Looked like just a bit of a short backstroke there with the putter. How hard was it for you to play on the LPGA Tour while continuing to get your degree at Stanford? And, and what things does she have to watch for in the next few years? Um, you know, I, looking back, I don't know how I did it. I took the maximum number of units. <laughs> As you should. <laughs> yeah. You know, I had a great college life. And um, it it was the best four years of my life. It's something that you can never recreate at a, at a later year. Ooh, has a good line to it. Oh, Ooh. my! <laughs> Unbelievable. Right on cue. What were you saying about the poise? The, the poise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rich Lerner will be at LACC. All right. In that group with Rose Zhang is Chella Choi at 13. All right. Not quite as dramatic as Rose pitching in at the skyline, at the Statue of Liberty, at the water, the boats. 16 is playing 339, as you just saw. But we're going to see some fireworks, I would imagine, Morgan, at this par four this week. Hattie Tavitanikit is there on the green at 14. Played a really aggressive tee shot with this whole location. It's really tight on the right side, Grant. Yeah, there have only been eight birdies so far through this morning wave karen players even though it's not a very long par three just not able to get it and to your point karen she's only hit six greens so far today this one being the seventh this is nasa hataoka at the 15th tough driving hole she just a moment ago found the fairway and now is rewarded. A little bit cold, yeah. but academically. Golf season's a little. Can't beat it. A little, little shorter. Right, Jin Young curls that one in for a 14th consecutive par. Remember, she was back in the pack going into Sunday. So we saw that great approach from Nasa just a moment ago. This to pay it off for birdie and get under par. All right. The lead is minus seven. Sometimes in this position could use a wedge to blade it to make sure that it comes out a little bit better. Looks like it grabbed a touch of grass there, Kay, on its way down. Yeah, that will be interesting, Kay, to watch as her career progresses when she, when and if you think it's inevitable to go through some kind of a spell where she struggles a little bit with her game, not firing on the all cylinders that we're so used to seeing and how she handles that. The best players in the game over time. The Lauren Hartledge round is the outlier today. A three-shot lead after a 65. Well, and I, I think it speaks to, to to the undulations on these green, Morgan, and, and being very target disciplined. Like, sometimes you, you just can't play at these flags. You have to adjust and use the slopes of the green to get the ball close to the hole and take your chances when they come. This is Amy Yang at 17. So a tap in for Amy to stay alone in fourth place. And to be one over par here through 15 with her ball striking, really superb. It just messes with you mentally. Needs to carry this 146 if she chose, chooses to go online to carry the front of the green. This is another eight iron. Same club she hit on the last hole. And that's going to leave her a pretty lengthy birdie putt. At the 15th, Allison Lee second. She absolutely pounded a drive. Just 114 yards to this hole. Nice to be able to come in with a 54 degree wedge and go right at the flag stick. Oh, that. That's still snapped pretty hard, Morgan, even with some decent speed. Yeah, that broke a ton. Never, didn't look like she was playing it outside of the hole, which she needed to on that severe of a slope. 
Jin Young Ko, second shot at the 16th. This is also 112. Looking to try and bounce back. You've got to have everything firing on all cylinders. You've got to be seeing the hole as if it's a, a bucket out there and and uh, striking your irons to the correct portion of the green. Amy Yang wrapping up what's been a really good day, but a struggle here at 18. Pole location today sits in a little bit of a bowl. So fast from that upper tier. Morgan, how about 10 top fives and 19 top tens in majors? For Amy Yang in her fine career. At the 16th, Rose Zhang second. 122 yards, slightly downwind. Should be just an ideal wedge. Good full one. At the 17th, and you see what the players see from back in the fairway, Danielle Kang. That's from 158, and the whole location is tucked on the right today, but there is a slope left of it that you can use, or you can be like Danielle and go right at it. Only three birdies so far today on this 17th hole, playing as the second toughest hole on this golf course, well over par. It gives the player an opportunity to use the slopes on this, on this green. Going for a little draw. She makes this game look easy, but we all know this game is very hard. She said in terms of performance that she really didn't have a lot of, of expectations, kind of wanted to get her whole scene to get. Lauren Hartledge began her round on the back, eagled the 10th. Emily Pedersen began her afternoon round here on the 10th. This is the 13th hole. That was for eagle. And so Emily from Denmark is going to pick up her third birdie in four holes. We'll watch the, the conditions as we go along today. Michelle was noting, as you reminded us, that uh, in the afternoon you can feel the wind pick up a little bit. And 170 yards to the hole, Morgan, and that wind is hurting from the right, so playing a little more like 175, 180. And that wind hurting from the right, as you can see, a blind shot. That's what makes it so tough to get it close to this right hole location today. Trying to get it on the proper half of this green that's divided by that spine and slope. Blind, well done. blind, but she finds the green and has that for a birdie. See how accurate she can be with this club. Pretty nice looking line. Squinting into the sun and she's going to like it now the third shot for georgia hall at the 18th uh-huh and that'll be the end of her day just such a small target here you can't see much of the green either visually a bit of an intimidating shot even though it's only playing 146 yards today She's going to have to now put up and over that little knob. Should break a little to the left. Oh, right over the edge. Good stroke. Finished up now. How about the run for Ayaka Foodaway, the last two years in Vegas? Getting, losing in the finals both years. We, when we saw her out on the golf course yesterday, what a shot there on 11. Going with the seven iron, trying to hit it just past the front number. 150 to the front. Or I'm sorry, 150. Yeah, 150 to the front, 158 to the hole. She's looked relatively unhappy with most of her iron shots today. Did we say she has a flair for the dramatic? She pitched in when Michelle Wee was watching her on the, the 13th for birdie and closes with a birdie.
as firm as these greens are and as high as Brooke hits the ball, I think this will be a good golf course for Brooke. She hits a nice, high, soft fade 